Welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday for me. It's actually already 2.25 p.m. I have done everything that I needed to do, which is a wonderful feeling. This week, I am going to be a 7 a.m. girl. If I could wake up at any time I wanted to, it would be 7 a.m. And I know that I'm gonna have to go to bed earlier and that's not gonna be great. That's gonna be hard. That's the thing is it's, it's harder for me to get ready for bed earlier than waking up earlier because I don't want to lose any hours of sleep. I'm not trying to sacrifice my sleep quality. If anything, I feel like it can still improve and that is partially the fault of this aura ring. <laughs> I got these back in September for Phineas and I as our anniversary gift and recently we just upgraded to the generation 3 which took three four months to get here it tracks your sleep and your heart rate and your temperature it's all like connected to an app which is great but it definitely makes you hyper focus on your sleep quality because you get a score every morning and I am averaging like somewhere between 70 and 90. I got a 90 score the other day and I was feeling, you know what's crazy? I don't know if it's placebo, but that morning in particular, I woke up in the best mood. I had so much energy. I literally was like skipping around the house and Phineas was like, she's bouncing, she's going crazy. And I really was. I'm gonna say it was asleep. Anyways, this week I wanna wake up at 7 a.m. I wanna be getting a full night's rest. I wanna be winding down way too early. I've actually got the week to myself. Hi, Peach. Hello. You're so cute. This morning, got out of bed at like 7.15. I had a DMV appointment, had to get a real ID. I think California is like literally the last state to jump on this, but my driver's license is expiring. So I needed to get a real state ID, which is going to be needed, I think by May of next year, if you want to travel without a passport. So took care of that this morning, went through emails, did all the computer work that I needed to do. Now I'm just going to have a midday meeting time. I've got food on the way. I think I'm going to read. I've also been watching and just like that, which is the Sex and the City reboot. Am I loving it? Mm. <laughs> no, Pete, no. <laughs> is it a little chuggy? Yeah, it is. You're so cute. You're, you're absolutely getting none of this. I ordered a community bowl from Honey High with a side of hash, which is just their version of assortment of potatoes. Last week I got myself one of these spine book shelves. The goal is to eventually fill it up and you won't see any of the shelving or the spine in the back and it'll just look like a very long pile of books and I think it's so cute. I also intentionally put it right next to the chair that I like to read in which is really nice. So I keep like my journal on here as well as the books that I'm reading. I have been sitting on this news, on this information for such a long time. If you guys remember last year, I filmed a feature called I Love My Dad and it will be premiering at South by Southwest next month. I just feel so grateful that for my first film festival, I will be able to sit in a theater with a bunch of people and get to hear them laugh and get to hear them gasp. The fact that it's happening in person feels like, it just feels like such a blessing and the timing of it all, it's wild. Just last week we had ADR, which is where you go into a recording booth, 
studio and you re-record any lines that got a little messed up while shooting, any environmental noises like wind, airplanes, your mic getting covered, things like that. So you have to like match it to picture. And then we also recorded a bunch of lines that are just kind of happening on top of other footage. I'm just feeling so grateful that we get to share this so soon. I am genuinely so proud of it. And this year is just, it's gonna be a good one. This is the first of many things that will be rolling out this year. I'm literally telling myself to buckle up because shit's about to get busy. Finished reading The Alchemist. Wanted to give a little review on it. My experience reading this was honestly very positive and very sweet. This has the same vibe and energy of just like a childlike story that weaves and interconnects sweet little life cliches throughout the story. I love looking up reviews of books once I've already read the book and just comparing it to my initial thoughts. And I feel that this book is either adored or absolutely hated. And I feel like the bad reviews are a little harsh and maybe just take it too literally. Without giving too much away, it is about a shepherd that discovers his personal legend, which is sort of like his death destiny. It takes him across this huge adventure where he literally has to cross the desert to get to the pyramids in Egypt and he meets all these people along the way and one of the faults that a lot of people have with it is that it feels like a very male driven story and there is a love interest in here and I really feel like I shouldn't be sharing too much but I see the fault there with the author just making it a very sort of like man's dream man goes out and does dream but at the same time because the shepherd is this young boy you can relate to him in this childlike sense that doesn't feel like this book is too out of touch or something. I found myself underlining a bunch of things that I thought were so cute. I learned that the world has a soul and that whoever understands that soul can also understand the language of things. There is just such a strong sense of will and confidence in the main character of this book that is really fun to read. There are so many stories that are centered around broken, complicated, emotional people. And there was something very refreshing about reading this one and just kind of like watching this shepherd do his thing. I have been trying to, I don't know, like kind of balance out the coffee, the tea, the matcha, and not have too much coffee. I'm gonna do a little Earl Grey moment. And I'm thinking of adding one of these powders from Gold. We have the Coconut Collagen Boost for skin, hair, and nail support. Or I was thinking the Shroom Shield, which is a daily immunity and stress defense, superfood blend, reishi and cocoa. I just don't know how Earl Grey and cocoa work together. I think I might try this just because I, I know what to expect with this. Regardless, I'm a huge fan of gold. Love their matcha actually. Sometimes it is just the ritual of having a beverage, which is why I'm trying to make it more productive by like adding a superfood powder into it. sunset walk through my neighborhood with peaches. Listen to two episodes of Lexi's podcast. Love what she has to say. Love hearing her voice. I just spent like half an hour on the couch on my phone. And I was like, what am I doing? I don't want to be doing this. Made myself a little cup of tea. I think it's lavender rose chamomile. What a trifecta. I'm realizing that tonight is the last day of January. So I'm going to take a moment to relax. This month went by so fast. I love these little roll-on essential oil kits from Sage. I believe this is the mindful edition. Yes, I'm gonna use the connection roller. I'll put a little bit on my neck, a little bit right here. My favorite is swirling the oil on my palm and then you rub your hands together. Some good calming sounds really does the trick for me. I 
could literally fall asleep. Body is feeling loose and limber. Lately, I've been using the Aura app for meditations. You choose the time and then also you can choose if you want like some background music, which I'm already playing my own background music. So I think I'm going to do 10 minutes of unguided. I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna film it. We'll look at the stats after though. That was nice. 10 minutes is a long time. I can't remember the last time I did an unguided 10 minute meditation. I definitely was thinking a lot and I kept having to be like, that's okay. This first step, I'm not very impressed by. This is my heart rate when I am sleeping. And so this is sort of like the journey across the 10 minutes. Went up a little, went down, went up and down. This one to my surprise actually went up. When your body relaxes and heart rate goes down, your HRV increases. If your body is under stress due to intense exercise, strain, dehydration, caffeine, or being sick, it decreases. As expected, my temperature went up. So, interesting. It's 7.25. I think I set my alarm at 7.10 and then snoozed it for a little bit. I had a very upsetting dream in the middle of the night. What the hell? Laura is giving me a bad REM score. REM has to do with dreaming and I feel like all I did was dream last night. I woke up from a terrible dream and then I continued into a better dream. And then I remember having a... Whatever. <laughs> all I did was dream, I feel. Do I want to go back to sleep? I do but I don't think I should because this week we are 7 a.m. girlies. That's why. Um, I'm gonna read a little bit because I don't really have anything to jump into immediately. So I'm just gonna, just gonna read. I'm on FaceTime with Phineas and I just showed him what I'm eating for breakfast, which is the last cinnamon roll that your mother made us. Yeah. And he just goes, fuck. <laughs> We're probably supposed to eat this together yesterday. Well, you know, I'm happy for you to eat it, you know, alone. <laughs> I'm just jealous. I just wish I was there. I know. All right. Here's the fit. Harness is on. Tip forward an inch and back an inch for 10. Abdominals really tight for nine. Eight. Hold for three. Two. Settle into that warrior two and then down. Stretch your arms long. And just slowly roll your- I booked myself a facial today, which I haven't done in over a year, a year and a half. I can count on one hand the amount of facials I've gotten in the last, since I moved to California, truly. Like, I never ever do facials, and I think I mentioned it in my New Year's resolutions video, but I would love to just start doing that more because it is an act of self-care, and I don't know how to do my own extractions, and just, yeah, I'm really excited. I booked this, like, over a week ago. I actually feel that right now, my skin is in a really good place. I did put on self-tanner last night. You can kind of tell. I find that that always like evens out my skin tone a little. Wow, pretty freaking good. Oh, that was so fun. That was so sweet. I just got home from the vet. Peaches has seasonal allergies and there is some shot that she gets. This is her second time getting it and it lasts a few months, but the first time we got it for her, she stopped itching and all of her rashes on her skin went away the next morning. I had to get her a shot. She was so scared. It was so sweet. Um, she's really so scared of the vet. A few days ago, I got a quilt. It's from Nikki Kehoe and it is a double-sided quilt. And I, I really love both sides. So I feel like I'm gonna be alternating what is like the main color, but oh 
I'm into it. I feel like it really matches with the burnt orange ottoman happening in there. It's not fighting too much with this pattern. As you can imagine, I'm already like over this rug, but no, it's fine. It's cute. I don't need to change it. Tell me not to change it. 9.27 PM. My face is done. My teeth are washed. I am determined to go to bed earlier tonight than I did last night. Last night I went to bed at 11.20. The trick now is um, oh, I'm gonna read for a little bit, which is fine, manageable, doable. I cannot let tonight's FaceTime get too long. <laughs> right now I am reading Codependent's Guide to the 12 Steps. This was a book that was recommended to me by a friend. She loved it. A whole group of us decided to purchase this book based on her recommendation. And I think when you first read the title, you're like, codependent so what do you needy and maybe that is just my own uneducated naive assumption about what the word codependent means codependence is so much more rooted and complex than that i've often labeled myself as a people pleaser but i think it's more than that i think that there is some codependence in there where I have taught myself that being safe means being in control when in reality the most free and safe you can feel is accepting your powerlessness that's sort of like what the first chapter talks about and just finding that freedom within yourself and being able to take care of yourself with others that was something that I like underlined a million times because I feel that I'm really good at taking care of myself. You guys are seeing it happen this week, but it's specifically taking care of myself around and with others. Usually it's really small, it's unnoticeable. I don't realize that I'm doing it because I go with the flow and all these things, but one of the reasons that might be happening for you or definitely for me is this little sense of codependence. And I don't wanna to speak too much of this book just yet because I'm only on the third chapter, but so far I have underlined a good amount in here. I will have more thoughts and opinions on this book as I finish it, but so far that is what I'm reading. Look who slept with me. <laughs> Look at this comfy girl. Wow. That's a comfy girl. Let's see, it's 7.10. Honestly, I feel like I woke up an hour ago. I just kept trying to fall back asleep. Peaches and her licking and biting. But she's right now, quit it, quit it. Time and sleep was seven hours and 16 minutes. Went to bed at 10.50 p.m. last night. Every night we'll be like, crate time, and she runs into her crate. No issue, no problem. And last night I go, great time. And she ran right upstairs, just headed right for the stairs up into the bed. So I couldn't say no. And screen shot it and we'll put it on the TV. I'm sitting here editing this video, realizing I filmed nothing else today. No, I did not. That's okay. This video's 18 minutes long. Let me know if you guys have been liking the longer videos lately. I think my last two videos were around 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry for the disturbance. We've got sleeping dog. I'm enjoying the longer format. It's, it's giving me more opportunity to just speak on things because we love to chat. It's only 7.49 p.m. So I am still gonna continue going to bed early and waking up early because I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. Today is February 2nd, 2 2 2 That is a beautiful angel number. I saw somewhere on Instagram that from now until February 22nd is a real gorgeous divine time. Oh, okay. Do what you will with that information. Yay. Bye, guys. <laughs>